The Cities of Sigmar Great to Glory continues and in today's video the final unit of the Cities of Sigmar army box is getting painted, the Free Guild Cavaliers. The Free Guild Cavaliers are not just a great unit on the battlefield but are also one of the nicest looking units in the army but they are known to be almost too detailed and today I'm going to find out if it's true or not. I painted up the first four models before I started on this guy to see what was the easiest order of painting and painting the base cut on the horse definitely makes it easier later on. I wanted this horse to stick out from the rest of the unit because I went with a darker brown for them so I went with a lighter brown with bane blade brown. With the horse sorted for now, I make a start on some of the silver parts, which is a good chunk of the model, and I use lead belcher as the base coat. The rest of the metal, like the horse's armor trim and part of the helmet, I go with Rune Lord brass. The rider's saddle and the straps were then painted with Doombull brown. There was a small bit of wood at each end of the saddle, and I almost painted it the same as the leather but I went back with Gortor Brown to really make it different from the Doom Bull colour. It was time to add the Fair Fairfaric Blue now and I started off with the base coat of Calgar Blue. For the white, I went a little different than I'd usually do. I layered on a couple of thin layers of red bone and I'd usually give it a shade of apothecary white and a highlight of pallid witch flesh after this but with the flat parts I'm just going to leave it with red bone and I made the mistake of painting the raw part around his neck thinking it was leaves for some reason luckily it didn't matter because the camera wasn't in focus for it for his little face that's coming through the helmet I chose to go with Bugman's Glow for the horse's tail and the crow I based them both with Abaddon Black for the final base colour, I go with Xandri Dust to paint the antlers on this helmet. A lot of tidying up was needed before I started the shading and this is where the details on that model can really slow the painting down. And since they come in a unit of 5, I can see how this can really take a while. I start the shading off by going back to the horse and I really didn't want to darken down his skin too much so I make sure to add a little extra lamin medium to Acrax Earthshade and start shading it on. I also shade the antlers and the wood with the same mix. For the fair fabric blue, it was Drakenoff Nightshade I used to shade it down. For the leather, the silver and the tail, I went with Nullin Oil. Then the bronze parts were shaded with Reichland Flesh Shade and I made sure not to forget to use it on his face also. The only white part I'm going to shade down is the rope around his chest with Apothecary White. The end is in sight and it has taken a while to paint this guy, but I start the highlights with the horse and the easiest choice for me was to dry brush on flayed one flesh. You could probably spend more time by adding multiple thin layers on, but I have spent way too much time on this guy already and there's still a lot more highlighting to do. To finish the silver parts off, I go with iron breaker and edge highlight along the edges. There's a good bit here to do, so make sure to take your time with it. For the other metal parts, the bronze, I went with the brighter silver Stormhorse silver along its edges. The leather was then finished with scrag brown, and the leather straps are really small, so even just getting the slightest edge highlight on will do the job. The wood part on the saddle can be difficult to highlight, so I dry brushed on some flayed one flesh, and if you put too much on like I did, you can add some tin down agrax earth shade, and the highlights will still come true when dry. The finishing touch for the Fair Farag Blue is the edge highlight of Rust Grey. For the horse's tail and the crow, I dry brush Dawnstone all over. Not forgetting the horns on the helmet, I went with a dry brush again, but this time I used Screaming Skull. For the very final highlight, I carefully add some pallid witch flesh to the higher parts of the rope on the chest. The unit of Free Guild Cavaliers is finally finished. And I don't think that they're overly detailed, it's just that they have a lot going on and after painting 5 of them, I'm glad to say that this is the last cavalry unit in the army to paint. They took a while and you can get burnt out easily with these guys, but sitting back and looking at them when they're finished, they really are great models. And I've played a small few games with them and they're just as good on the battlefield. These guys come in at 180 points and that puts the total army at 1360, just 140 points shy of the 1500 mark. 
All the models from the City of Sigmar box are now painted and in the next video I'm going to add the final two models to finish off the army. But if you guys like this video make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next video.